Recently, one of my viewers asked me if I can make a reaction to this video. It's called What is AFL Aussie Rules Explained? Now, I'm a huge sports fan. Sports is my life, especially football, like British football. That's what I love. That's what my passion is. Uh, but I love all sports and obviously I've heard of Aussie Rules before. Uh, I believe it's a kind of mix between like rugby and British football. Uh, one kind of story I have is when I moved to here in Malaysia, one of my roommates was Irish and he played Gaelic football, which I think is similar. But they used to have this challenge match where the Gaelic footballers would play the Aussie Rules footballers. And he used to tell me that the Aussie Rules players were machines. They were like big robots, man. They were just like six foot two at least, big muscular monsters, whereas the Gaelic players were all like under six foot and just a bit stocky. He said they used to get destroyed, man. So I know that Aussie rules is a tough sport, but I just don't really know too much about it. It's something I would definitely like to start watching, man. I know it's got like big strong guys just beating, beating each other up. So let's check this out and see how it goes. Running. Now they're starting to run. It's got kicking. The crowd willing him on. Phil Shirley. We might take it anyway. He has. It's got phone on phone hits oh. without pads. Oh. oh, what? Jeez. Okay, man. So this is something I kind of thought would be the case. Like, there would be some meaty, crazy challenges. Obviously. American football, they wear padding and helmets, so it doesn't really have that same impact. Maybe this is the closest to rugby with regards to physicality of any sport. Tell me if you think Aussie rules is the most physical sport in the world. How does it compare to rugby? But I mean, immediately, just look at these tackles. It's got bone on bone oh. hits without pads. Oh. <laughs> Madness. No, it's not rugby. It's not rugby. It's Australian football, although you might hear it called Aussie rules yeah, or Aussie even rules. footy. This is Australia's yeah. biggest sport Whoa. and is now played professionally by 18 teams in the AFL. It has the fourth highest average attendance of any domestic sports league in the world. These are some serious facts. The fourth, let me just hear that again. Attendance of any domestic teams in the AFL. It has the fourth highest average attendance of any domestic sports league in the world. Whoa, that's crazy. So it's like the most supported. I, I know that in Australia, it's a very sporty country, like cricket, rugby, uh, even soccer, football, Aussie rules. Like Aussies are, just love sports. It's a very sport loving country, but I never knew that it was so highly supported. You see that stadium back there, the round one? look like a huge stadium so one thing I love about sports is the fan culture tell me how Aussie rules fans compare to like football fans cricket fans uh, rugby fans what's the differences in personality uh, in the actual fan experience are they singing the whole match do they react to the sport that's happening on the pitch what are the fans like of Aussie rules but that's a crazy stat oh, these are some serious fans yeah, what do you see. say we talk basics? Aussie Rules is played on a football field probably bigger than any you've ever seen. With an egg... Oh my, look at that compared to like other sports. ...is played on a football field probably... Even like soccer and NFL, man. I didn't realise that Aussie Rules pitch was so big, but that shows that the players must be super fit to like run up and down. And tell me how many... I guess we'll find out how many players on each team, but... The biggest pitch I've seen. ...bigger than any you've ever seen. Baseball, With basketball, just nothing. ...with an ball that takes some crazy bounces. Oh. Each team <laughs> consists of 18 players on the field and four on the bench. Okay. Tremendous athletes, these players are basketball-sized with the hands and foot speed of an NFL wide receiver and stamina greater than a soccer player. This is it's a main event in any stadium in the world. Yeah, that's the thing, they are like just man mountains, they're like super monstrous. Like, look at me, man, I think I'm just on, I think I'm like 5'11", very thin. I would never play this, I would get snapped in half. 
I get broken down, man. Look at these guys. They're like machines. They really are, man. It's the game physical starts with specimen. a center bounce. A bit like okay. in any stadium in the world. The game starts with a center Ooh. bounce. I never even a bit knew like that. A basketball jump ball. <laughs> the basic object of the game, like American football, is to move the ball down the field and score. Wants to go all the way from 45. Oh, oh this one, man. You can move the ball three ways. Running, but you have to bounce it every 16 yards. How do they bounce something that's shaped like that so accurately without it actually bouncing all over the place? That's like same shape as a rugby ball or an American football. And they're very hard to judge the bounce of them, man. So these guys must have great technique as well. Using Make it look so easy. To hit it forward. Oh, this is called a handball. Another okay. skill unique to Aussie rules. Nice running. Alice was involved as well. Floss time started it all and drills at home. And of course, the most common way is kicking it. I don't know what's ball for. It's a river. So actually, they bounce it, hit it with their hand, and kick it. It's very. It's like they're almost combining like the most technical parts of all these different sports like basketball, football, handball itself to make this one sport that like has all these different facets but it takes like the biggest, most powerful men to play as well. And do women play this? Is there like a women's version of this also? How does that compare or how is that different? Like a quarterback using feet instead of hands, mm. these guys can hit a teammate on the run at 50 yards. If the kick is a little high, a player may have to Whoa. jump and make a spectacular yeah. catch. This is Maybe called so a flexible. It's called one. May have to jump and make a spectacular catch. Oof. This is called a mark. A mark. Okay. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> What man? Look at this guy. You can use. Jeez! Look at this man. They get this on the big screen. That that is. Oh wait, that's the wrong one, man. Like, let's get it on here. Look at this guy. He's like literally claiming on him, man. And believe it or not, you can use the opponent as a springboard for jumping. This is a. Take a mark. You can keep going. I thought that was a one-off. That's an actual tactic they use. They claim on people. Man, what is going on? This is amazing. Or you can stop <laughs> on the spot and take an unimpeded kick. Glorious okay, kick. Okay. Once in scoring position. What was that score? Unimpeded kick. 140 to 77. I don't think I've ever seen a score that big, man. Even in basketball, is it is the is it common to have such high scoring matches? I didn't realize that's what it could get up to. Glorious kick. Once in scoring position, the idea is to kick the ball through the two large upright posts. Okay. That's a goal and worth six points. Okay, okay. Oh. If you hit the oh, post, post. Oh. or send it between the big post and the outer lower post, yeah, yeah. it's worth one point. Oh. It is called a behind. A behind. Okay, so you get points for hitting the post as well. It's cool they've got different tiers of scoring as well with those extra, extra poles at the side. This is really cool, man. A final score line might look something like this. Okay. By the way, there's no offside rule. Don't get us wrong, there are positions. Defenders defend. Forwards go forward. And midfielders, yep, play in midfield. Mm. This is better from Hawthorne. We know what a good kick he is, but he sets Hill up the line outside. He goes back into Hale. 70 metres out, too far to score. Gives off Hina Suckling. Suckling with a low Whoa. <laughs> What a goal, man. Is it, yeah, so tell me how the strategy or tactics in this compare to other sports. Obviously, my favourite sport is soccer, football. Uh, so... That's a huge part. Some teams play defensive, some teams play very attacking, some teams like to play like a passing type game, others play like a long ball game. Are all these strategies something that 
transfers into this sport as well as our vet is our different managers have their own tactical uh, strategies that they carry out and stuff like that is it very highly strategic or is it not really as strategic players come in all shapes and sizes the Fremantle Dockers have five foot eight Hayden Ballantyne six foot three Nate Fife and seven footer Aaron Sandilands <laughs> What man? Such a disparity in size. I guess similar to basketball, but these guys are ripped, man. You can tackle hard, but not too high or low. Okay. It has to be between the shoulders and the knees. Ooh. There are four quarters of 20 minutes, but like soccer, time is added on for stoppages of play. The extra time can be as much as 10 additional minutes. Mm. AFL teams play 22 regular season games. The top eight teams make the playoffs, or as they're called in Australia, the finals. Mm. <laughs> Eventually, two teams meet in the championship game or the grand final. It's Australia's Super Bowl and is played every year in the magnificent Melbourne Cricket Ground. Whoa, in look at that stadium, man. Bowl, That's an absolute and is played beast. Every year in the that is an impressive stadium. That looks like a cauldron, man. I would love to visit. I love nice stadiums, man. That looks amazing. Magnificent Melbourne cricket ground yeah, in front of 90,000 plus. It's a big deal. And there we go. Opening goals. Kennedy, long kick. Goal. First yeah, the fans look pretty Good fanatical kick. there, actually. He's got it. I like that. Frank Lamb. Oh, yes, he has. Melchersky, run down, holding the point. Langford running hard, you'll fancy this. It's got a knot, it's a goal. Yeah. Any questions? Check us out at afl.com. That looks awesome, man. That actually is like combining the best parts of different sports and making one super sport that uses guys that are just supremely fit. Fitter than you'll see most other athletes in these type of sports. That looks so good, man. Yeah, man, I'm going to, need to check some of these out. Check out some highlights or some matches. Tell me who who to check out. What teams are exciting to watch? What team's the best team in history? Who's like known as being like the Manchester United or Real Madrid of uh, Aussie rules? What players should I be check, looking out for? Uh, and tell me more about the fan culture. I'd love to know more about how the fans support their team what what like who's the most supported team who has the reputation for having the best fan base this is another thing i've been doing a lot of comedy but i'm really interested to check out more afl stuff uh to recommend some other videos about this and i'll check that out too thanks